How to get the Hunt Badge in Adopt Me. By completing this, you'll also get an exclusive vehicle and a badge that counts towards claiming your rewards on the hunt. To get the badge, you'll need to enter three portals and complete the mini games. In the Halloween portal, you have to play Tile Skip. In the Southeast Asia portal, you have to go and collect crabs. In the Winter portal, you have to play a present minigame. To get to the hunt, you want to click on your backpack, press the plus button, press teleport to the gifts display. This will go and get you there the fastest way possible. Then you will see these three portals. What you want to go and do is head on over to these portals. And you'll see a sign that says the hunt, which obviously is for the hunt. And you have to first of all start off by speaking to a character called Tom. Hey traveler, when are we? Okay, I guess they're stuck in time. I recognize Adoption Island anywhere, just not any when. I was jumping between seasons when these pesky crabs ripped their bag. I lost the important research, so you have to go and um, go and find some crabs apparently and get the special research. Once they have the cogs, they can go and build an extra time machine, you know, without the time traveling parts. After doing inventory, I located all three missing cogs. The first one landed in the winter with 2022, the present shuffle, that guy. The crabs are located in the nursery from the Southeast Asia egg, and the recent one is tile skip from Halloween. All right, so let's actually go and start off with the one on the left and make our way through them in order So this one should be pretty easy. What we need to go and do is collect three Crabs so again, we're gonna get a bunch of chatter and uh, we need to go and grab ourselves a crab So once you go and actually see a crab you need to head up to it and press the letter E By going and doing so it will allow you to go and drop off the crab into this section All you gotta do is then just stand back in here now the question is where are the other crabs? Well, it seems that a bunch of them actually spawn, but the next one is going to be on the left I've got to go up to it. There we go. We have grabbed it it's got to go and bring it back and drop it off inside of the cage. So not only does this give you a badge inside of Adopt Me for the hunt, it will also give you an exclusive vehicle, which is very cool. First time we've seen an exclusive vehicle for this. Quite sad that it's not a pet. I mean, last year, or not last year, last time we got this, we got a pet chicken Adopt Me. So um, it's just a vehicle this time, but it's still free. So anyway, we're going to drop this off. There we go. You found the missing cog. We can head straight back unless you'd like to explore some more. So what you have to do is actually pick up the cog. Um, I guess it adds it automatically. I guess you don't need to. We're just going to walk straight out the portal unless you want to keep exploring it. So now we've got that. It shows this little um, one there and then the other two obviously we don't have them yet. So let's head into the winter section next which is fun. Again there is a character called Tom and there's a character called Bert. This is Christmas. This is when I thought we had a Christmas update and uh, haha <laughs> I'm a tricksy elf. You want the time machine pack? you will have to beat my game. All you have to do is keep your eye on the prize. This game is called Present Shuffle. Basically, I believe the item is going to be put under one box and then it's going to all shuffle up and we're going to locate which one it has been shuffled into. All right, so here are the boxes. What's going inside? Call, call, call this one. All right, I'm going to stand where it is. That's going to be my tactic. So those two are call. This is the one we want to watch for, okay? It's nice and slow. It hasn't moved yet, it's still in the middle. Is it that easy? No way. No way I did it first try, are you kidding? No way it should be that easy. Oh wait, we've got to do it multiple times. I think you have to find it five times again, right in the middle. Of course this time it's gonna go and get a bit faster, a bit more complicated. Some of these should move. Imagine if it just stays in the same place again. It's literally not moved yet, it's still in the middle. Surely, surely this one's gonna move. Okay, now it's here. Great, that was still so easy. Maybe I'm just really lucky. I guess it's gonna be a random pattern every single time for each person. Whoa, another one. Yeah, bro, that was easy. All right, this one should be harder. If it's not harder, then I actually don't know. The middle one, all right, it's now here. This is definitely speeding up, but it's still extremely easy. Now it's here. Is that it? Wow, it's definitely this one. I'm a pro. All right, three out of three. Do we have to do it any more times? Okay, you do have to do this five times. So let's go and do that again. I, this should be getting a bit more hard, but it's still pretty easy. I imagine it's gonna be different for each person, but if the pattern is the exact same for everyone, then I guess you can copy what I'm doing. Just tend to keep your cursor over the one that you think it is. 
yeah, that one was definitely a bit harder, but again, I'm a pro, so we managed to go and do it. Um, here's your part back. Oh, so you've only got to do it four times, I guess. There you go. You got the time machine part back from Bert. Well done. I can time travel, but I cannot understand him. Let's go out of these freezing temperatures. Okay, let's do that. Let's head back through the portal and um, get this done. Okay. Now what we need to do is go into the final portal, which is the Halloween one. Now this is pretty similar to Squid Game, where if you stand on the wrong tile, you're actually eliminated. And there's not really any way to tell the correct pattern. Actually, there is. If you see it wobble, then that means it's the wrong one. So it's definitely not this one, because I just saw that one wobble. So this one? Okay, it's not that one either. Maybe one of these two. One of these two? This one? Oh wow, and it's definitely that one as well. So this means it is the end one. And these can go in any direction. So we don't want to step forward and we don't want to step there. So what we want to do is this, this, this. And yeah, you can definitely see them wobbling. So keep an eye on which ones wobble, how often they wobble. That one wobbled then. So now where is it next? They, those are wobbling, that's wobbling. So it's either this one or this one. Now you do have infinite lives, but if you want, I could just do this. Yeah, so if you want, you can just try and like guess by jumping and missing a tile. Um, these are just checkpoints, the one with the star, so not too important. All right, is it gonna be here? I think this one, yes. So that's a checkpoint. That means if I fall off now, then I'll just come back. So based off of my prediction, it's gonna be here, and then it's gonna be here. And then I don't think it will go back on itself, right? So it's then gonna go here. Oh, it did. Okay, wow. So I guess it's gonna go like this and then this. Oh my word, what? Okay, that's very weird. It's gonna go down again, down again. What in the world is this pattern? Okay, honestly was not expecting that. That means it's gonna go like this, right? What a weird pattern. Like, if you wanted to, you could have just jumped that. I guess it goes like this. All right, that is the strangest pattern I think I've ever seen. All right, there we go. We collect it. I think you've got to actually touch it this time. I can't believe you made it through. You made it look easy. All right, thank you, bro. Um, now that we have what we needed, let's... Uh, this place is giving me the creeps. Let's go. You've collected all of the time machine cogs. Go speak to Tom outside the portals. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. I will go and do that. So I'm pretty sure what you need to go and do is head back through this pretty cool looking portal and uh, we'll find out what's here. Let's speak to Tom. And uh, yes, you found all of them. And as you can see, I did just get rewarded the badge for the hunt inside of Adopt Me. Now I can repair my time machine. Let's rebuild yours. Tom has added the time traveler's clock vehicle into your backpack. Now that is very cool. So that is how you go and get inside of Adopt Me. By going and doing that, we do now have an untradeable vehicle. Um, interesting. It's like a wheel um, that has a clock on it. Not really Easter themed, very random. Having the whole time travel thing doesn't really relate with Easter's or egg hunts. But there you go, that's how you complete it. A very strange update from Roblox and Adopt Me. And then you can go and use that badge to go and buy stuff. Like if you collect five badges, then you go and claim like some cool little necklace. If you get 20, you get like all of these other things. So it's definitely worth doing. You've just got to play a bunch of different Roblox games. There's over a hundred Roblox games that are participating in this. And uh, I've got this launcher where I can go and give away these free things completely for free to every single person. So if you go and join me in game, my joins will be set to public. Then you can go and get one of these headphones for free that work on your Roblox avatar. It's a very cool item, and yeah, this is not tradable, and it's only a common. Potentially in the future, it might become tradable, but as for now, it's just a, a very interesting, mysterious vehicle, and that's how you go and get it inside of Adopt Me. You should click here to see how I got the core blocks in Roblox completely for free. That's right, I literally got the core blocks Deathwalker through a promo code. Click here to go and watch that video next.